everyone, it's me, Sydney. So welcome back to my channel. My name's Sydney. If you're new here and you clicked on the video because you're about to go to college or you're excited for college or you've already been to college and you're like, damn, I just need some movement tips because I'm gonna go back to college. Welcome, my name's Sydney and I'm currently an ASU freshman. Peep my cool shirts. They're, well, they're not mine, but this shirt I, you know, got off an Etsy site. I will have it linked down below. But isn't it so cute, guys? Like, I'm obsessing over it. I just feel so cool. I'm like, well, proud sun devil ah, hashtag proud sun devil anyways today I'm going to be doing my move-in day tips for you I actually have a whole move-in day vlog so if anyone's curious if you're gonna be at ASU or any college a lot of them are pretty similar with how they work for move-in day and everything but um, if you guys want to see my move-in day vlog or any other videos, I will have it linked down below for college. And I hope that you guys enjoy. If you guys do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell so you can be notified when all my other college videos go live. If you guys are going to be staying at Taylor Place and you guys are curious, I have two videos. I have one that's a dorm tour and one that's dormspiration. So if you guys are like interested in that kind of stuff, then definitely subscribe and like turn on the bell so that you can get notified when that video goes up. Alright guys, so my first tip is to make a list of everything that you use constantly so what I did was you over the summer normally you have like you know the summer if you're someone like me who also likes to pack everything you think you need everything in the whole entire world make a list of everything that you use constantly like things that you're actually gonna need and it's gonna make it so much easier because then you're not gonna be bringing like things that you think you need like you know those resistance bands that you've never touched that are sitting in a room or you know that random pencil sharpener that you think you need even though you have mechanical pencils just write down all the things that you use on a daily basis and then bring those with you or like you can replace them and buy new ones if, if that's your, what you're trying to do so if you are moving out of state or like kind of far away and your house is not close make sure that you buy some boxes or like get some boxes that you have at your house take some note cards and write down when you have your list so like my the university like for arizona state university they give you a list the only thing i do not recommend that's on this list that they say you should bring is do not bring keepsakes unless you are going from out of state and don't bring a lot if you're going to do that because it's just going to take up space no one is going to want to see your yearbook i mean maybe unless you you want to show it off to people but like this was on the list and I just didn't think that it was necessary so try to keep your keepsakes at home unless you have like a couple little things that you want to take with you. I made an Amazon list and then I just ordered off of it so everything was already boxed up and then I just like took it with me to my dorm. It made it a lot easier if you guys saw my move-in day vlog. This is what one of my friends had as her list. I asked her if I could borrow it. It has like five pages and she moved out of state. She moved to California so she has like everything possible on here and this is great because you know this is gonna last her till December when she decides to switch her clothes out or actually she even has like sweaters and stuff um, and beanies but this is just like a really great way to stay organized and then what you do is when you box it up you have a note card on the box and then you just write what's inside of it another thing to do to make sure that your moving goes smooth and nice is to make sure that whoever you are rooming with if you do not have a private or even if you do like we made sure that we were an hour apart from arriving if you have a shared room then make sure that you guys are there together or decide ahead of time how you're gonna have your floor layout be because you don't want to have your stuff all in the room and then have to move your furniture around with your stuff. So what I highly recommend is you go through and you're like, okay, I'm actually gonna move my bed this way, I'm gonna do this, and decide that ahead of time. That's gonna make everything so much easier. If you're doing a private like me, we have common rooms here. So what we did was we put our shit in the common room. So like I got here earlier, put all my stuff in the common room. Then I came in here, moved my furniture around, and then I moved my stuff in. So by the time she came in, she could put her stuff in the common room, move her stuff around, then set her stuff up. She was coming from out of state because she's from Illinois. So she had a lot more to bring also so it was a lot easier not having both of our things all over the place on to actual move-in day so when you wake up in the morning if you guys saw my vlog i was wearing like really comfy clothing wear athletic clothing because you are going to be so gross you're not going to want to like look pretty no one's going to remember you from that day because that day is so busy you can shower later on in the day if you decide to like hang out with people like i did i showered twice and still felt dirty that day so do not try to you know look amazing you can put a little bit of makeup on like whatever floats your boat but 
if you're worried about people looking really good that day no one looks good like everyone is in like one of those old t-shirts and a pair of like you know those painter outfits that people wear like when you're gonna paint your room and it's like has paint on it it's like kind of gross people will literally wear that because you're just moving in that day it's hot it's gross it's summer and you're not gonna want to just you're just gonna feel gross like I don't know how to explain it like you may think that you're not going to but I literally felt like disgusting that day and I just kept feeling gross even after I'd showered but then you're exhausted too so like you're it's just gonna make you feel gross anyway all right so now on to other tips that I have for clothing I would highly recommend that you take okay this is something that I did not do because I only brought like five pieces of cute clothing and the rest is all workout clothing that's like in drawers um, and you guys are going to see that in my dorm hall. But basically, you should get the velvet hangers. Those things are amazing. I have those in my closet. Get yourself some velvet hangers. And then the other thing is, when you're at home and you're putting your clothing on the hang hangers and stuff, just put a trash bag over it to keep it clean. Cut a hole at the top and put the loop things, the, the hooks at the top, like, sticking out. So you can easily, like, tie it at the bottom and then use the hooks and like walk it straight in here. It's a, it makes it so much easier. So I know it's super exciting and you're gonna wanna have like, you're gonna wanna like carry all your stuff up on your own, but personally at ASU, they have move-in people that are there to help you. They have like a ton of people, it's a line, they just put your stuff on the, in the carts, then they help you get it up. Um, and if you have family, they're gonna wanna help you as well. What I recommend that you do is you go up with the first cart and then let them take the rest up for you because you're gonna wanna get in there, move all your furniture around because no one else is gonna know that you want your bed there, your desk there, um, or anything else. Like if you have um, drawers or if you have other furniture, no one's gonna know how you want it. So what you should do is just come straight up, move your stuff around, Ask your family and friends to help you. Ask the moving people to help bring it up. Just tell them your room and everything and it will make it so much easier for yourself. The next tip is once you get up here, leave your door propped open. Sometimes they have like fire marshal rules and everything, but what I would recommend you do is just prop it open because usually they overlook that the first week of school and seriously, you're gonna make so many friends that way. I'm on the private side, so it's a little bit harder to make friends just because there's two doors to go out. Like, there's my door of my room and then the common room. So a lot of the time, like, you don't even, like, if this door's closed, you're not gonna see that that door's open. So it makes it a little bit harder to make friends. Prop your door open. If you have a shared room, people are gonna be popping in and out. They're gonna wanna say hi. Also, when you're walking up and down the halls, make sure you say hi, introduce yourself, ask them what their major is. Like, the thing that you're going to be hearing over and over and over again on move-in days, hey, my name's blank, and my, and what's your major? Or like, hey, I'm, and who are you? Or something like that. You have some people that are gonna be similar majors to you. You have some people that are different. So it's just a really good conversation starter. And a lot of people are scared too. My next tip to you though is to wait to buy some certain things. I'm about to list the things that I would say to wait to buy and then I'm gonna tell you what you should buy ahead of time. So what you need to wait to purchase is food. Do not buy food until you get here because you can go with your family later on in the day and pick up food once you see how much room you have or how much room you have in your mini fridge, what you're feeling, because college life is so different, especially if you have a meal plan. The next thing is storage. Once you bring all of your clothing in here, all of your knickknacks, whatever else you wanna keep in like storage bins and stuff, do not buy storage ahead of time unless you know for a fact that you're gonna have like this one piece of storage like under your desk or something because your bed, you can fit a lot of storage underneath. Sometimes depending on what you wanna put in it, like I wanted drawers, you don't wanna buy that ahead of time and just then you don't wanna overbuy it also and like waste your money. The next thing to buy is cleaning supplies. Wait to buy this unless, you know, your family's not gonna be there with you and you want them to pay for it or something. Cleaning supplies is like super necessary but wait to buy them because you never know if you and your roommate are gonna go have seize on the cleaning supplies or um, if your roommate bought some already because like chances are someone's gonna buy it. Like I'm gonna tell you right now, my sweet mate, her mom bought a ton of cleaning supplies. So like I didn't even have to buy any for our sink or our bathroom. Like I'm gonna buy it on the next round. Same with toilet paper, paper towels. Like she bought that so I didn't need to. So I'm gonna buy it next round. But like until then we don't need to have two huge packs of toilet paper in our bath. Now on to the things that you should buy for move-in day. So honestly, like a lot of the things, if you're here with your family, like you guys can go and buy them later on, like don't stress about it. But things that you should buy ahead of time are the mini fridge, the microwave. Those two things are so important because you wanna get that plugged in ASAP. Um, also, you should really buy command hooks or if you're gonna buy like lights and tapestries, like if you plan it out like me, um, I would highly recommend that you just get a ton of command hooks. Those things are 
lifesavers. I was watching a ton of college essentials videos. I didn't even know what a command strip or hook was until I got to college and I realized, wow, all of those college essential videos that I watched, or if any of you guys have seen them, command hooks are so vital. So on move-in day, command hooks are gonna be your best friend. If you wanna wait and go get it when you get your storage, when you, you wanna put stuff up, but otherwise I would highly recommend that you just pick some up already because chances are you're going to want them, you're gonna need them, and they're really useful. The last and final tip I have for you guys today is to just embrace the move-in day. Let your parents take as many pictures as they want, as they ask for, because I, now that I'm looking back, my move-in day was a little bit ago, and. I miss my family so much, you guys. Like, I love them so much, and I wish I would have just let my mom take more photos, and I know I'm gonna cry because, like, I love my mom so much, you guys. But seriously, if you guys are watching this and you haven't had your move-in day yet, like, or if you have, like, if you're moving somewhere else, just let your mom take photos. Let her experience it because your mom's never gonna have another my daughter's first move-in day to college, her college dorm. She's so proud of you. Your dad's so proud of you. Like anyone in your family that wants to take photos, just let them because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and experience. You're, they're never gonna be able to relive the first time that you move into your first college dorm. Like it's exciting for them. They're nervous, they're excited. Just let them take the photos, let them embarrass you. Everyone has parents that are doing this. So like, don't ever feel like these, that they're embarrassing you too much because to everyone here gets it. Like I was talking to my friends a couple days after and they were like, yeah, my parents were doing the same thing. And then it hit me and I realized like, damn, like I love my parents so much and I should have just let them take every photo. I should have posed for the photos and not been annoyed. But because of me being the person that I am, like I didn't, I was like so stressed out and I just wanted to get to my room. But you know what? Stop, smell the roses, enjoy the experience, let your family enjoy it as well because this is something that's new for them. Um, even if they've had like older children and and they've already experienced this before, like they're experiencing it with you for the first time. So just embrace it, love it, and be grateful for the fact that that you're here and you're able to experience this. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my socials. I'm going to be posting so many more college videos and I hope this helps you guys out with the move-in. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!